Hello everyone, it's Marilyn. Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. We're going to do a quick video today. Maybe you already know how to do this, but I can't quite remember all the steps of how to download and install a TrueType font to your computer. You already have lots and lots of fonts on there, but there are so many fun fonts out there that we can add to our quilting and embroidery and sewing programs. So let's get started. I'll go over to a site I use frequently and I'll show you how to download, install, and get started creating today. This is one of the sites that I use called defont.com. They've got lots and lots and lots of uh, fonts and they even here have a how to install a font in the help section. So if uh, you need more help, be sure to go there. Uh, I'm going to download this fun little Choco Shake font, and I can see that this font is 100% free. Some of them are free for personal use. Most are free for personal use on this site. Some do have a restriction, so just be careful uh, and be be observant about how you can use fonts. So let's click and download this one. You'll see that it zipped right up there into my Chrome downloads folder. And there is that choco shape dot zip file. I can click here, but I'm going to go over into my file explorer and find it in my downloads folder. Here it is in my downloads folder, a little file with a little zipper on it. All I have to do in uh, File Explorer is to double left click on my mouse and it will open up the contents of that file. I am on Windows 10, all right, of Windows, or I'm sorry, Windows 11 of File Explorer. And from here, all I need to do is, I don't need any special zip software. It's all built into Windows Explorer. I'll just click on Extract All. Where do I want to put it? If you want to change, just click that Browse file. I'm going to save it where it is and say Extract. All right. Here it is in, uh, it's opened up the folder, opened up a new uh, Windows Explorer page. And here's a JPEG file that will show me the file. I want a true type file. There is an open type uh, for this font, but I'm going to use the true type font. Most often that is um, easy to use with the programs that we have. So look for that TTF or TrueType font file. All right, and we're going to double click on that. It gives me a preview of what that font is going to look like. So you'll see this phrase all over because it uses most of the letters of the alphabet when it uh, spells everything out gives you a little bit up here it has uppercase lowercase and lots of special characters okay i told you this was going to be short i'm just explaining a lot of things this is going to take you like under a minute okay the next thing to do is to install just click install and it's installing it to your computer and just like that it is done so now if you are in one of your programs, you need to close out the program, open it back up. I'm going to open up Pro Stitcher Designer and we'll find it there under the true type fonts. All right, I'm using Designer because that's where the this question came up in the group. I'm going to click on my text tool. I'll click to add text to my workspace and then access your new font right over here. OK, 
you had to go back and check. The name of the font is Choco Shake. So there it is, right there. And my text immediately changes. So now I can type in anything. Type in your favorite word. I'll just use Choco and be sure my apply button is down here i'll just click apply and there you go there is how easy it is to add a font to your and ex access all the fonts on your computer from the list over here on the side just be sure just remember if you have your program open you go out and retrieve a font you do need to close your Pro Stitcher Designer software and open it back up again before you can access that new install, newly installed file. All right. Happy quilting, everybody. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe and like and click that little bell for notifications to my YouTube channel. Thanks again. Bye for now.